Hello, I'm Donna Cohen from Coeus Consulting. Welcome to the SAP HCM and Success Factors BizX Integration Demonstration. Today, I'm going to showcase SAP Standard Delivered Employee Data Transfer Integration from SAP ERP HCM on-premise to Success Factors in the Cloud using SAP's NetWeaver's Process Integration as the integration middleware. I'm going to demonstrate two main business scenarios the first one being a new hire is hired into your SAP HCM on-premise system here and in this example we have Paul Hogan as our new hire and we'll see all of his information get transferred over as initial load over into the success factor system via SAP's NetWeaver process integration. Then the second business scenario we'll see is a simple name change in your SAP ERP HCM system and we'll see that name change get updated over into success factors. So in this demonstration we'll see Paul Hogan change his name to Crocodile Dundee. So let's move over into our system demonstration. So I'm going to start off in the SAP HCM on-premise system. Here we have a view of the organizational structure and we have a department for California for the sales region and we have Hugh Jackman as the head of this department and we've hired in a new employee Paul Hogan into the manager of sales West region so let's move over into our success factor system to make sure that Paul Hogan does not already exist there so I'm going to log on as the administrator and I'm going to do a quick search for Paul Hogan and you can see he does not exist Let's just make sure that um, Hugh Jackman, the manager for Paul Hogan, exists in the system. And there we go, Hugh Jackman does exist. So let's go back into our SAP HCM on-premise system and let's go ahead and execute the employee data transfer program with success factors. So here I have the transaction in my favorites, so I'm going to execute that. Now this program must run with the variant and I've set up a variant here for the purposes of the demonstration. I'm going to enter in Paul Hogan's personal number and here you can see that there is middleware that is selected which defines that the transfer will occur using SAP's NetWeaver PI. Then down below here we have all the success factor fields listed and on the right hand side here we have all the SAP fields that are defined and mapped to the success factor fields. There are approximately 29 standard fields that are delivered and this represents the minimum set of employee data from SAP ERP HCM that's required to support your talent management processing over in your success factors BizX applications. On the right hand side we have the required checkbox so you can define whether the field is required or not to be sent over into success factors. There's also flexibility built in here with the fields where you can define where to extract the data from. So let's take an example here of email. If I drop down on the box here you can see that there are a couple of different options. Um, one being user data which means that the email address will extract and pull from my user master record which is your SU01 or I have some other options here in terms of info type 0105 subtype 10 or the data could be pulled from subtype mail or if none of those options work out I can actually also define my um, own implementation as well so in this case I'm going to select subtype 10 that's where my email address is defined on. I'm also going to select that I want my middle name required and I'm going to decide for my business phone I'm going to exclude that because I don't hold that information right now um, for Paul Hogan. Down below there are a number of custom fields here that are available and can be defined by the customer via the body. So let's go ahead and execute the program. So I'm going to let that run and right now the employee data for the new hire is being transferred over into success factors via SAP's NetWeaver PI middleware. So now we can see that the employee is successful. 
So let's go over into our success factor system as the administrator and let's do another search on Paul Hogan. And there we go. Paul Hogan has appeared and he's been transferred over nicely. So let's just take a look at his information. We can see here all his personal data information has come over, his manager information, we've got his job information, department and divi division, and also all the address and location information. So that's great. Information is trans transferred over nicely. So let's go back into our SAP HCM on-premise system and let's do a simple name change. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to um, update the name change just using the basic maintain master data transaction PA30. I'm in Paul Hogan's um, record and I'm going to select personal data and I'm going to change and update his last name to Dundee and his first name to Crocodile. I'm going to save that record. I'm going to back out so we can execute the employee data transfer program again. So let's go ahead and execute that program again. I'm not going to change anything on the screen here. I'm just going to rerun the transfer program again. And there we go. It has been successful. So let's go back into our success factor system and let's do another search and make sure that the name change has come over and there we go we can see the first name has changed to crocodile and the last name has changed to Dundee where to find more information so here you can see there are some web links where you can find more information about the integration add-on or also there is an administrator guide out there and here's the link and the menu path to get that information. There is also a rapid deployment solution package out there which Coes co-developed with SAP and we are also a qualified partner to deliver the RDS package. That concludes our demonstration of the Employee Basic Data Integration from SAP ERP HCM to Success Factors. Thank you for watching. If you'd like further information, please reach out to myself or Brandon Toombs. Thank you.